Ed Hadar with TechScan. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate each of the four preloaded tests you can perform with the FlexiForce Sensor Characterization Kit. If you'd like a demonstration on how to set up the kit, check out the link in the description below. Let's get started. Okay, now we're going to uh, show you how we select and run the various test profiles that are pre-programmed with the user. We're going to start with our uh, running a linearity test. So the first thing we, we do is uh, select our circuit. So we have our uh, inverting op-amp circuit selected. We've got our reference voltage set at uh, two and a half volts. And now we'll select our test profile. So uh, you'll see here that the fixtures PCB has these three LEDs in the bottom right, uh, a green LED, an orange LED, and a red LED. Uh, over the green LED, you have uh, the text load only. Load only corresponds with uh, the linearity test. Over the orange LED, you have load slash unload, which corresponds with the hysteresis test. Over the red LED, you have drift, which corresponds with the static drift test. And we have a repeatability test uh, programmed, which we'll show you how to access as well. To select your test, you uh, select, simply hit the select button that will toggle through the, the test profiles as you see here. So let's go back to our linearity test and we'll, uh, we'll run this first uh, test as an example. Okay, and then when the actuator uh, comes off of the, the sensor, that's the indication that the test is uh, complete. You'll see on the, on the graph that you've got your five points, uh, the linearity, uh, because we used the op-amp circuit, it was very good. Hysteresis corresponds with the load slash unload LED. So we just hit it once and the orange LED is illuminated and we'll go ahead and start that test. So what you'll be seeing during the hysteresis data is two curves. One will be corresponding to the loading of the sensor. The other will be corresponding to the unloading of the sensor. So as you can see, the actuator has came back off the sensor again, and on your data screen, you've got two curves uh, that show the sensor's output uh, during the loading uh, part of the test and during the unloading part of the test. So the first thing we're gonna do is toggle our selector uh, to the red LED, which is the, the drift test. And then the next thing we're gonna do, so the two tests that we just ran are both functions of force uh, so in this tab on the on the software interface is your sensor output versus applied force for drift uh, because it's a static load that is a, a function of time uh, as far as calculating it we have this other tab here on the software that grabs your sensor output and load cell output uh, versus time so we'll we selected that tab and we're ready to collect our data for the drift test so we'll just hit run and then you're, you're again going to see two sets of output on, on the screen for this test. Uh, one of them will be load cell under static load, and one of them will be the sensor under the static load. Uh, we're giving you both of them so you can have confidence in the magnitude of the applied load during the drift test. Uh, we'll hit the select button one more time. As you can see, the green and red LEDs are both uh, lit, indicating that the repeatability test profile has been selected. Uh, what the repeatability test profile is going to do is it's going to run the hysteresis uh, load unload profile uh, multiple times at a user-defined number of cycles. Uh, this will allow you to observe the sensor's output at uh, a given load in various loading cycles so that you can de determine the sensor's repeatability. Uh, so now that we've got the test profile selected, we'll go ahead and run. So there's an intermediate step here. You can see the indicator has now uh, changed 
uh, it's, it's displaying a number five. This is the indicator for how many load unload hysteresis profiles you'd like to run for this repeatability test. Uh, for the sake of the demonstration, uh, we'll just uh, narrow that down to two. And then we'll go ahead and start the test. Okay, now you have it. You have uh, two graphs here again, uh, one showing the center's output uh, throughout the test and another showing the load cell's output. Uh, so what you'll be able to do here is look at the, the same portion on the curves from cycle to cycle uh, and determine the sensor's repeatability at that given load uh, during the test. For repeatability, you can also uh, use the data graph section to uh, look at sensor output at each discrete force that was applied during the test. Thanks for watching. For more information or to purchase the Flexi4 Sensor Characterization Kit, visit our online store at techscan.com. Stay tuned for more videos.